Out on our first permeable street uh, that we've ever built in Madison. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about that today. So the section I'm in right now, uh, this is on St. Clair Street over by the Glenway Golf Course. And we have a five and a half foot wide strip of a product called Pave Drain. This is a one foot block. And the block here is not permeable, but the gap around it is. Underneath this block is a foot of 57 stone. So that's one inch clear stone, no fines. There's a geo grid on top of that. And then there's below it, three inch clear stone down to the sand layer. On this project, uh, that's 10 feet below, which caused a few problems with uh, sewer lateral interference and other things, but it, we needed to get down to that sand layer for this to function. All right, so we've moved up the road a little bit. And on this project, we are comparing the kind of the longevity of paved drain and pervious paver panels. So this is a product, this is a precast pervious concrete made by Spancrete. And they make this inside of a factory where they control the environmental conditions. And they come in these five foot wide sections that snap together kind of like Legos. Uh, this one is much more prone to having spall. And you can see there's some little chunks that come off, but we're hoping that it will, uh, will hold up over time and not crack. So one other additional thing we did with the pervious concrete panels is we replaced some sidewalk. Now this sidewalk is placed in between a resident's driveway and the street. This is the directly connected impervious that's a target of our study because that's where we think we'll get our highest reduction in that peak runoff for small storms. Now as water comes off of the driveway, it goes into the pervious concrete sidewalk. And underneath here, we have a under drain that connects it to a five foot by three foot deep minimum by 15 foot long rock crib. Here this goes down to that sand layer. So where I'm on 10 feet of stone. So any water that comes after that driveway is going into the ground. And then if it fills up before it goes into the base course of the road, there is a eight inch under drain that connects into that inlet there. 